our body is basically a human subway system. And if you think this is something new, actually it's not. If you look at the true evolution of surgery, about 40, 50 years ago, in order to do a simple appendectomy, you will have to do a laparotomy, 20 centimeter, open the patient and have a surgery. About 30 years ago, we moved into what we call laparoscopy, minimal invasive surgery, where instead of having a 20 centimeter scar, you have three small, small ports to reach different areas in the body. And today we're talking about robotic assisted surgery. We're talking about the future of robotics in surgery. But if you follow this trend, you can see that one common denominator is how do we go smaller? How do we access the patient body with less trauma? And if you really think about it, the natural evolution of surgery is getting into this micro robotics. Those little robots that will not only treat the patient, but potentially will prevent uh, additional complications with the patient. So if we look, for example, at what we see at Microbot Medical, we see the different technologies and applications. So what can we do with a very small robot in the entire body? Drug delivery, marking, sensing, occlusion, stents. But think about the capabilities that now we're going to turn one small robot that can go through our body and either fix or prevent potential or existing problems. Such as, for example, the Liberty system at Microbot Medical. It's only part of our development, and we still have the micro robot that we developed originally as we're going after the self cleaning chance. But we also integrated the first ever fully disposable robotic system. So, no more capital equipment, allowing access to both healthcare systems, physicians, and specifically patients worldwide. Because once you get rid of the big expensive capital equipment and you have a very intuitive, uh, easy to educate system to carry out procedures, and more than this, it can be controlled remotely from a different city, a different state, a different country, then you are actually allowing access not only for the system, but you are allowing access for the right skills to carry on the procedure. So even if you are in mid China and you can have somebody from a big city in China or in the US carry on a procedure, you already introduced a patient with a better treatment that potentially will lead to better outcomes. 